All right, what we got? We've got a trailer sitting here on a uh, tapered block, and the way this thing's designed, when you back in, there's a tilt detector underneath, and it will uh, detect if the trailer's leaning too much. This light right here will uh, light up, and that'll tell the driver that he's not level enough to race, so he'll have to. Uh, move until the light goes out and once he's sitting there and the lights out then it's ready to raise we're going to demonstrate this with the driver standing outside the cab show you that he's not in there where the controls are but as the bed goes up and the trailer starts to walk up on this tapered block you'll see as it starts to tilt that's about uh, almost three and a half, almost four inches of block. And you'll notice the light when it comes on that the bed will stop raising. There, there's the light on it. You see the trailer's rolling back down. It, it automatically comes back down until the light goes off. You see the lights off. Now it's going back up. We've got it being demonstrated just to show you that it works automatically. You can see the bed's coming down and it comes down until it reaches level and it goes back up again. So all this will happen without the driver's control. It's often hard to tell if you're level or tell if the load's shifting. But when it, like I say, when it reaches the danger zone it automatically uh, dumps the hydraulic valve there's a tilt detector system so we've got mounted between the uh, underneath the suspension there you can see the little black box right here and then it controls an electric valve that opens automatically and it lets the oil run right back into the reserve tank automatically. So once again, it does it all without the driver's control and happens with, you know, instantly when it reaches the danger so that that time delay between deciding it's leaning and letting it down, we try to reduce.